My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, every year on 21st July, we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence of Brindisi. Lawrence was born in the year 1559 to William and Elizabeth Russo. He was named as Giulio Cesare de Russo. And at an early age, he showed signs of piety. He had a religious calling within himself that he wants to follow the Lord. After receiving a good upbringing, he continued his studies and he enrolled himself to become a Capuchin friar. He joined the Capuchin friary at the age of 16 and took the name Brother Lawrence and continued his studies. While he was still a deacon, he was invited to preach at many places in Europe. He had a strong and ardent preaching style. And while he is to preach, he is to attract many listeners. He would always capture the heart of the listeners. He had the gift of language. And that is why he was able to learn many languages. He knew Latin, Hebrew, Greek, Italian and German. He was called by Pope Clement VIII to preach to the Jewish people. He was ordained at the age of 23 and he became the provincial superior of a province at the age of 31. He also continued preaching to the people. There have been many miracles attributed to his name. During the time when Turks had started attacking Europe, it was Lawrence who took the help of German princes to fight against the Turkish armies. He was also a papal nuncio. Many years after the Reformation, he continued to preach the gospel in the parts of Europe and Germany. After the Counter-Reformation, he continued preaching to the people in Germany and Austria. He became a papal nuncio and after his term, he retired to a monastery in the year 1680. Thereafter, he dedicated his time to prayer, fasting and contemplation. He was called by the Pope to become a diplomat in a mission in Spain. And he willingly obliged and continued and completed that mission. After the mission, he died in Lisbon, Portugal. He had lived 60 years and most of the time of his life dedicated to preaching the gospel of Christ. St. Lawrence has the rare distinction of becoming a papal nuncio, preacher, scripture theologian, polemicist and also a diplomat. He served in various capacities. He was beatified by Pope Pius VI in 1783. He was canonized by Pope Leo XIII on 8 December 1881 and he was called as the doctor of the Universal Church by Pope John XXIII on 19 March 1959. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence of Brindisi, let us pray through his intercession that we too be worthy of our call in this world.